Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog on my channel. Uh, right now, I am just going to cook myself up a BLT, so I, fin or I figured that I would show you what all I'm going to put in it. It's my number one craving of pregnancy, I would say. Well, it's tied with Chipotle tacos, but I love it. I can't get enough. So I figured this week for lunches I would just have one every day and that way I don't have to worry about craving it randomly at 3 a.m. <laughs> I probably still will though. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. But first, coffee. Okay, so I'll just kind of show you all what this little setup looks like right here. So I measure out the soy sauce and the maple syrup into here, dump it into here and then put all the other ingredients in here give it a good whisk and i lay all my tofu out and i pour all of the marinade over top it soaks in for like five minutes on each side and then we are good to go good to fry it up although today i'm only going to fry one piece and i'm going to leave the rest marinating and i'm just going to be pulling from it throughout the week step one i'm measuring out two and a half tablespoons of soy sauce I'm adding it to my measuring cup I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of maple syrup now I'm going to add about a teaspoon worth of ground pepper honestly I just eyeball this because I am not going to take the time or do the tedious task of grinding pepper into a little teaspoon. So I just eyeball it. It probably comes out different every single time, but it really does not matter that much. You really can't go wrong with this recipe. It's just kind of, maybe some days it'll be more pepper, whatever. Um, and then I do about the same of paprika. Just eyeballing it. I really like the paprika though, it gives it a really good flavor. And here's where my recipe gets a little bit different. I added Worcestershire sauce, which you could totally st skip this step if you don't normally have this on hand. It's just that we normally, we do have this on hand. We have a giant bottle of it that we're not using. So I figured, you know, why not make it a little bit more savory? Um, this Kroger brand in particular is actually vegan. It has no fish in it at all. Okay, so I add about 10 dashes of this. It literally comes out in like little drops. So I just kind of, yeah, sure. I literally make this stuff up as I go along. That's how I cook, guys. Okay, and then I'm going to do some liquid smoke. I add about also 10 drops of this because I really like that smoky flavor. I think that's what makes it most taste like that, that it's like actual bacon. It gives it that smoky, savory, salty, you know, this stuff is so good. And then that is it for the marinade. So now I just give it a little stir, a little, little zhuzh. Does anyone else use the word zhuzh for everything or is that just me? It smells super good. Now I need to cut up my tofu and I will show you all what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm just going to let it marinate for about five minutes on this side, give it a flip, and then I will fry up my piece for today. So I just wanted to give you all an update about my glucose test and all of my um, blood draws came back normal. So that means that I don't have gestational diabetes, which is super exciting. And I actually got the scare of a lifetime when I called because, I mean, they told me to call around lunchtime on Monday, so I did. And I called and... <clears throat> just asked like hey i'm just looking for my results for the glucose test they told me to give you a call today and so uh she like looked me up she asked for my birthday and name and she looked up my file and then she i could kind of tell she was looking at it for a second and then she put me on hold and i'm like 
oh no. <laughs> like I'm sitting here thinking the doctor or my midwife is going to have to come on the phone and talk to me because I have gestational diabetes or I'm going to have to take another test or something and that test was miserable. I'm really not looking forward to it with the next child at all. I think that they might be very far apart <laughs> in age just because of that test. That test was terrible. Um, so she comes back on the phone and says that my results were normal and that I'm fine, just that the people at the hospital put it in weird and she just wanted to clarify that it was a two hour test. And it was, so we did do the right one, which is good because I was not about to go back and do another. Um, so yeah, we're all good. I did just want to mention though that I was kind of, well, I was putting on my, um, my lotion last night because I put it on every night before bed and I kind of realized that there are, um, some rather hard to see bumps forming, um, in, like, in and around my belly button and then on my hips where my stretch marks are starting to form, which stretch marks they're not really they're very light and pretty much invisible I could just it's mostly a texture kind of thing like you can feel them um but anyways there are some bumps forming and they're not super itchy which I looked it up and pretty much the immediate result was like oh you have the p-u-p-p-p -P -P pup rash or whatever which is some kind of rare rash that some pregnant women get. I think it said like one in every 150 women can get it. So I don't know if it's that. I'm definitely going to ask my midwife what she thinks, make sure it's nothing more dangerous. They don't really even have a color either, which I saw on good old Google Images, which was a giant mistake. I should not have looked on Google Images. Oh my gosh because apparently this rash can get very, very, very bad. Um, so I looked on Google Images and mine really doesn't, like, it. the bump, the bumps look like it, but it, they, it, they're not red really at all. They're, like, very slightly pink. I don't know if that's just the rash starting and that's just what it looks like in the beginning or what, but I'm going to have to ask my midwife about it. It says on WebMD that you just can develop it randomly in the third trimester which I am literal days away from the third trimester so that would make sense apparently it's more common if you're having a boy which is weird I don't understand why that would make any sense at all um so those things check out but then it also says that more common if you're gaining weight rapidly which I'm not at all um I've pretty much steadily gained weight throughout the whole experience, throughout the whole pregnancy. So I don't know. It seems super random. I don't know if that is it or not. I have been having more avocado recently, but I haven't had it in a couple days, so it'd be really weird for a rash to just now show up. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure, but I just figured I would keep I'll keep you all updated on that and let you know what I find out just in case anyone else is experiencing it or if you have experienced the pup rash before or if you've experienced a different rash and you know what mine might be please let me know in the comments because it's I mean it's not driving me crazy but I am quite curious about it all right I'm just about ready to fry up the tofu everything's coming along pans heating got my tomato and lettuce chopped up I just wanted to show you guys that this is the bread that we just got at the store Dave's killer bread good seed okay it's actually amazing I hate how expensive it is because this loaf was like six dollars <sighs> but guys it's really delicious I don't know I don't know what to do about it it has some really good stuff in it So, I mean, I kind of justified it because it was really good for you. But maybe I'll look into trying to figure out how to make it at home. Or something similar, anyways. I toasted the bread for about three minutes. 
and then I added mayo on each piece and then Dijon mustard on that piece and now I'm just about ready to assemble and this is what my tofu is looking like super golden and delicious So it's hours later now. I just got some chicken and dumplings on the stove and we're waiting for that to be done. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the vlog up here. And I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Bye!